uh, very quick video feedback session for the end of the 12 series that we collaboratively have just completed for the month of December and this is my brief feedback session consisting of three general areas the first being about technicality one of the things I think I learned most from this was coming to grips with some of the software such as iMovie and uh, what was on the phone the recording levels the mixing the editing the sub soundtracks etc uh, fusing all that together with an introduction and a conclusion for each episode those things were, were were great to do and have given me much more confidence to use those bits of software again in the future so uh, very happy about that particularly learning what this thing could do just this two-year-old phone that's that's now antiquated but it did all of the video work for me and um, recorded exceptionally well second area was one of collaboration um, one of the issues I've always found about working with online groups and forums for the last 10-15 years is that you can... It's difficult to get to know people with just a line of text. You know, there you are typing away and you're responding to someone's possibly flippant comment about something and you feel like you're, like you're going to write something flippant back or sarcastic or ironic. Um, and so it's very useful to work much more closely together with people sometimes in order to build on that and really get to know something about those people on a more profound basis. And that's what happened really last month in um, in Malaga when we got together there. A lot of those preconceptions broke down and people really started to see each other for who we really were. And I think this project played a bit of a role in, in consolidating that. Even for those people that didn't attend, like Simon in Barcelona, I really felt like each day we were there uh, encouraging and supportive and promoting and giving just a few words of encouragement to keep going even for people that I personally don't know at all but I felt like my relationship improved better much better with people uh, through this project so very very good for those reasons uh, finally uh, what was the final one our oh, future yes where is it all going in the future? Well, for most of you, I suspect you've got businesses, you've got uh, rentals, you've got uh, sales, you're in property, you're offering services, you're offering knowledge-based skills, you're offering tours, you're offering whatever it is. And I'm sure videos can be really good for you to use this on a more consistent basis. Personally, as someone who doesn't sell services, um, who really doesn't know what he's doing half the time anyway, uh, who was it who said the, 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 the fool who persists in his folly will one day become wise? Well, that's a bit like what I'm doing. I think I'm pursuing follies of which one day I hope will lead to some form of profound wisdom, but at the moment it escapes me completely. So how do I intend to use this in the future? Uh, I've no idea. Uh, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing from day to day, so talking more long term uh, is beyond my my meager capabilities but I would like to think that somewhere down the line whoever it is that comes to Spain whoever it is that wants to rent something out to live to come over for a tan to come over to play golf well please no but even those people at some point may just show an interest in the country itself and say to themselves I wonder what this place is all about and then I could stay I can offer stories and I can understand history a little bit and I can portray events, particularly looking back at, at, at what's happened before and seeing its relevance today. I'm not really interested in what happened in 1606 or 1492 when Columbus went over the sea and discovered this. And those don't really things that interest me, but what it, how, how it relates to today, that fascinates me. If we can understand something about today, by looking at the cycles and the changes that have gone on repeatedly through the history of our time on this planet, then that's interesting and that makes for good stories. So, I don't know, maybe, who knows. See you around. Yo, say cheese. Mr. Cheese Man. Say